Hurricanes are deadly. There's no way around it. Whether it's storm surge, high winds, or inland flooding, hurricanes pose new obvious Oh, my God. 
supply kit into one or two easy to carry containers such as a tote or duffel bag so what should go into your go kit at a minimum we can break the essentials down into a top 10 list the first is water at least one gallon per person per day second food plenty of non-perishable easy to prepare items that add up to a three-day supply others include health related items such as a first aid kit prescription medications blankets and personal hygiene products in the event of power outages, make sure to have portable chargers for electronic devices. Carry cash as credit cards and ATMs may not be working. And finally, two sets of identifying documents round out the list. I need One to see documents, such if as my boss them calling me. I, I can't have you. you, you, you nobody understand that. Oh, mama, said, hey, wait. Is down and people tend to rely on their cell phones to contact people. Have that handwritten uh, contact list for people to get a hold of. If you have pets, uh, make sure that you have things prepared and ready for your pets. Also, all of the things that you would have if, if they have their vaccinations and whatnot, all those things are important if you go, especially if you go to a shelter. All of these items are inexpensive, easy to find, and most important, can save your life in the event that a hurricane threatens or strikes your area. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Devin Lucy. And of course, we'll have more updates Woo! on Elsa coming up all day here on Weather Nation. I want to smell that before I take it. Why not just smell well, it? Smell it out there. Give it to me right now. So I can smell my stuff. Severe storm reports last 24 hours. Where has it been active in the north central U.S.? Oh, it's out in the plains of both north and south Dakota, Nebraska, especially down northeastern Colorado. We have some big time severe.